Given the extreme physical forces at work on a freight train, some air leakage within a train's pneumatic braking system is normal. One component where leakage is common is the brake cylinder located on every car. Let's take a look. When the brakes are applied, the brake cylinder is pressurized, providing the force needed to push brake shoes against the train's wheels. When a train brakes for ordinary and short durations, such as for curves or to reduce speed, any brake cylinder leakage that occurs is modest and can be replenished through system recharging once the brakes are released. To reflect this ordinary occurrence, the American Association of Railroads regulations allow a brake cylinder to leak up to 1 psi per minute. By contrast, trains descending long downgrades often have their brakes applied for 30 minutes or more. Here, normal brake cylinder leaks diminish braking power, since the system cannot compensate for them by recharging. The issue is compounded by sub-zero weather, when pneumatic system leaks are more severe. New York Air Brake's new DB62 with brake cylinder maintaining solves the problem by constantly compensating for lost brake cylinder pressure and preserving up to 85% of their braking power, even on long downgrades. One key benefit of this exclusive technology is increased train safety. Yet brake cylinder maintaining also increases productivity by increasing the accuracy of wayside detection systems and keeping rail cars in service longer. Wayside wheel temperature detection systems are used to screen cars for defective brakes. In the United States, more than 6,000 hot-cold wheel detectors are installed along the 140,000-mile freight rail system. These systems operate based on a straightforward logic. When brakes are applied, they generate heat and raise the temperature of the wheel. Cars with cooler than average wheel temperatures are suspected of having substandard brakes and flagged and taken out of service for inspection. Unfortunately, perfectly sound brakes are often flagged simply because they have not been fully applied due to lost pressure and leaks, as seen on long downgrades. Many of these same cars later pass the single car air brake test in a warm shop and are returned to service without repair needlessly resulting in lost productivity and increased maintenance costs. Here again, the patented DB62 with brake cylinder maintaining technology solves the problem by constantly compensating for leaks and preserving up to 85% of their braking power. Wayside detection system accuracy is improved, and your rolling stock with acceptable brakes keeps right on rolling. To learn more about the advantages of New York Air Brakes DB62 with brake cylinder maintaining and how BCM can be retrofitted to any high mileage cars with DB60 control valves you have in service for an added margin of safety and longer life wheels, shoes and draft gear, contact New York Air Brake.